In this episode of how to make an infinite runner in Unity and put it onto Google Play, we are going to be displaying our score and slightly improving how we count our score. So today we're going to be covering counting our score, displaying it on the UI, and also slightly modifying how we go about detecting if we've jumped over a box or not. So let's get into it. Firstly, we need to create a new c -sharp script, so create one in your assets folder and call it dspawner. After that, open it up. Inside, we're going to do private void, on trigger enter 2D, collider 2D collision, if collision.gameobject.compare tag enemy, destroy collision.gameobject. So you might be thinking, hold on Max, our scorekeeper literally has this code except for the fact it also adds on the score. And you are correct. However, we don't want to destroy the box when we've decided to give a point to the player. And you'll see why in a moment. So we need to have a separate class to handle destroying an enemy as opposed to counting our score. Now let's go into our scorekeeper. So we're going to make a few changes to our scorekeeper class. So firstly, make sure you import using unity.ui and then we're going to have three serialized fields. The first one is the int that we already had, which is our score. Text UI is going to be the text object that's going to display our score. And score label, which is a string, is going to be what prefix do we want to have before our score on the UI. So we're going to just do score, but you could change it to boxes jumped over or whatever you want. Next, we're going to make a function. We're going to do public void update score text text UI dot text equals score label plus score. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the UI text that we have. We're going to put on the score string, which is our score label. And then we're going to also then add on our current score, which is our score variable. So if we have a score of five, it will say score colon space five. And this is our function to update the text. And inside the on trigger enter 2D, it's going to be exactly the same. But instead of destroying the enemy, we're just going to update our score text. So when an enemy touches our scorekeeper, that means the player's gotten past the enemy. So we're going to incre increase the score by one like we did before, but this time we're going to update the score text. And the enemy is going to keep moving and eventually be destroyed later on. So it gives the illusion that we've run past it as opposed to it just vanishing after we've jumped over it. And I'm pretty sure that's all the code we're going to do in this tutorial. The rest of the work is going to be in the editor. So firstly, we're going to right click. We're going to go to UI and we're going to click on legacy and then text. If you're in an older version of Unity, text will just be in this field, but it's in legacy if you're in 2022. And a canvas gets created. If you already have a canvas, you don't need to create another one if you don't want to. And we're going to double click on the text and a few things we're going to do. Firstly, we're going to just type in score then a colon. Just so we have an idea of what it'll look like. And we'll do 007. No, we're, we're going to do 420 to be actually funny. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set the font size to be, I don't know, 50. This also means we're going to make our object bigger. So it's a lot more clear and we can see the score easily. We're going to set the font color to be white and let's change the width to be 600 in case, I don't know, you get a really big score. Then for horizontal overflow, we're going to click on overflow. And for vertical overflow, we'll also click on overflow. We don't care too much, but you could put truncate if you want to. For the alignment, we're going to have it in the center and on the left. So you can see now, let's say we have a score of four, it's going to be four. If it's 420, it goes to that. That's 420 before we had 42. And then we put on some 69s, look, it adds onto the UI perfectly. So be sure to save. And if you click on the game, you can see where it is. So we're going to move it to the top right corner. We're not going to do any fancy anchoring. That's going to be in a different tutorial. Now, we need to go to our spawn E object and do nothing. But our enemy despawn. Well, this isn't our enemy despawn anymore. This is going to be our score counter because it's got our scorekeeper script on it. So what we want to do is we want to double click on it. So we zoom back in 
and we're going to put it literally right by the player. So once the player has jumped over it, that means the enemy is going to touch this and then it's going to be like, oh my gosh, the game knows when we jumped over the enemy, when in reality this is what's going on behind the scenes. And for the score UI, drag and drop our text, score label, keep it like that, score, keep it at zero. And for Y, make sure it's minus 0.5 if you want to be precise. But you can keep everything the same with this. Then we're going to right click, create a new 2D object, go to sprites, go to square. And we're going to put this off the screen to make sure that the enemy is fully off the screen before it gets despawned. So we'll make this a size of 2 and 2, minus 0.5 for the Y, the X will put it at minus 11. You can customize all of this, obviously. Then we need to do a rigid body. So add in a rigid body 2D. Also add in a box collider 2D. This isn't going to be a trigger. Then you need to drag and drop your despawner script onto it. And I think with all of that, this is going to work. But there's one more thing you can do. Untick sprite renderer for the despawner. Also maybe call it a despawner. If I can spell. And go to your score counter and also disable the sprite renderer. Now we're going to hit play and everything should just work. Oh my god. It's working. But there's one thing which isn't. And that is our despawner. Oh yeah, one little thing. Set the gravity scale of your despawner rigid body 2D to zero. I just realized it's going to fall down because it actually has gravity applied to it. With that, we're going to click play. We're going to pause straight away to make to make sure we can view what's in the sample scene. We're going to go back to game and then we're going to start playing. And as you can see, enemy clones are being destroyed when we jump. Well, when they go off the screen. And our score's going up after we jump over the enemy. So, thanks for being a great audience. One thing you want to do, by the way, set this to zero, otherwise you technically got a score of 420 until we update the... Actually, you don't need to set this to zero. Go back into your code, make an update function in your scorekeeper class, and just put update score text in it. So that way it's going to be set to zero on start. So if we were to, for instance, I don't know, put 42069 to be mature adults and we hit play, it will go to zero. So... Thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.